do with my stump. I definitely do not want to damage it. Hello, Christy here, amputated hand there. Now, what my amputated hand feels like. It actually feels like it's still there, but in a fist all of the time, 24 seven. And my thumb feels like it's a little twisted. It's a little uncomfortable. And if I think about it, sometimes I just want to like stretch my hand out real big and stretch my fingers and, and open my hand, but obviously I can't. I feel like I can move my fingers on this hand just a little bit and you can see that's me moving my thumb and my wrist, my individual fingers. I can move them all together or I can move them one at a time. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm only able to move them just a little. So that would, and it tingles. So if I move my pinky, my pinky is tingling. If I move my index finger, my index finger tingles. When I move my wrist, it feels like my whole hand tingles like this. My stump is fairly tender. It feels like all the nerve endings are all tied into one spot right there, if you can see it right there. So it tickles anytime it's touched, it's kind of, yeah, but doesn't necessarily hurt unless it's been hit. I get nervous sometimes because I don't want any of the nerve endings to come loose. I don't even know if that could happen, but it's just something that crosses my mind that I think about, that I get a little nervous about. Although, one time I got really scared because I did something to it. I think I may have carried too many grocery bags on it or something and pulled something. And I couldn't open up my arm all the way because whenever I tried to pull it out like that, it just felt like it was hung on something. It was a sharp pain and was just, oh, I cried. It was terrible. But after a few days, it just went away. That definitely caused me not to be overly cautious, but to be more more aware and more cautious of what I do with my stump. I definitely do not want to damage it. In the beginning, it was very painful and it took time to heal, you know, once they took the staples out. It, uh, but it formed beautifully. I think they did a great job with it. Sometimes my stump in the, usually in the winter time, for whatever reason, if it, it'll get really hot and swollen and it feels like my hand just throbs and it comes out of the middle of nowhere. I don't know what causes it, but it feels like my hand is just huge and swollen and puffy. It's done that for quite some time, like for years, just every now and then my skin will get blotchy and red. I don't know if the cold weather has something to do, affects it or whatever, but I'll put some ice on it perhaps and then that the skin is real tender. So now, with my nub, I can feel heat and cold, and but my stump is, is cold most of the time, and it's a different color from my other hand. I do think that my stump is really cute. Most of the time, I have a habit of like, I'll just tuck it right there and carry, you know, tuck it right there. It's surreal because I know that it's gone, but it still feels like it's there. People ask me if I forget that it's gone. To answer that question, yes. I, especially when it first happened, I did forget that it was gone. One time I woke up in the middle of the night to use the restroom and I was trying to climb out of the bed and I totally forgot it was gone. And when I did, I fell into the floor. Funny now, but not then. Another time I was walking down some stairs and I slipped and I tried to catch myself and I fell and I hit on the end of my arm. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Not funny then, still not funny now. It hurt. Lesson learned, I needed to slow down. I just needed to slow down. Now, about phantom pains. If you don't know what phantom pain is, it's pain that feels like it's coming from a body part that's no longer there. Experts now recognize that these real sensations originate in the spinal cord in the brain, per Google. I had those pretty bad when I when my hand was first amputated. I do have flare-ups and when I do get them, it's a burning sharp pain that really hurts. And I can feel on the exact spot on um, my finger, wrist, hand, wherever it may be, it, like let's say it's right there, I can feel it in that particular spot, if that makes any sense. That is my experience with what my amputated hand feels like and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to 
answer them. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If there's something you want to talk about or share with me, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, be wonderful.